Good morning. Here we are. We're going to do some spag now. So last week we started doing some some key stage two stuff with um, speech, and we we kind of got all right through it. I think we only did about two days worth in the end though of speech, didn't we? Maybe possibly three. Can't remember. Gosh, it's all a blur. So um, well, if we finish off just the little bit about speech that we're doing today, just so you've got a little bit of an idea of how it is and how it works then um, you'll be able to take that knowledge with you into year three and you'll be able to learn it correctly and properly with Ms. Wright then, won't you? All right, so um, so yeah, so let's just have a look at doing some more speech today. Now, the last thing we did, we had a picture on the board or on my board and we converted that picture, those speech bubbles, that scene into written speech didn't we into sentences using speech so today we're going to go the opposite way around we're going to start off with some written speech sentences from from a text and we're going to turn them into a picture all right just doing it the opposite way around basically so let's you know none of my pens i got loads of new pens the other day from school and um it's still not all out. so here we go this is our sentence all right Ugh, can you see that all right on there? Not really, can you? Good Lord, let me see. What's blue going to be like? Eee! That's a bit better. You'd think after March, when I started putting this blind up in here to stop the sunlight coming in here, I'd have done it by now. Nah, mate. Nah. I put it up and it pulled a bit of the roof down and there's still a big hole up there. I haven't fixed it. That's my summer holiday job. Anyway, I digress. Good morning. In inverted commas. Said. Remember, I'm not putting a capital there because it's still carrying on the normal sense. Good morning, said Jim, and remember when someone new speaks, you start a new line, don't you? Hello there. Exclamation replied. Who did I choose? Jean. There you go. Jim and Jean. Our favourite comedy duo. So there we go. So there's our sentence. Good morning, said Jim. Hello there replied Jean. So what we're going to do, we're going to use these, or the information we've got here, the sentences we've got here, the words we've got here, to turn it into just into a, like a comic picture or something. All right. So I'm going to draw that. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me draw it. Okay. So I'm now going to draw it. Um, it'll probably take me about five minutes, but it'll be like one second for you. Watch this magic trick. Ready? Hold your breath and blow. <gasps> <laughs> oh, the wonders of modern technology. Anyway, there we go. Let's say there's Jim and Jean. All right, look, there's Jim. Good morning. Hello there. All right, so you can see which one is talking first because the speech bubble is higher. Which one is talking next because the speech bubble is next lower. If there was three people, it'd be higher, middle size, lowest, and that'd be the order that they're speaking in. All right, so you can see then that now I've got my two sentences. Good morning, said Jim. Hello there, replied Jean, which I've then turned into a picture. All right, that's fairly easy, isn't it? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ravel my stuff out and I'm going to put another sentence on here. Use my black pen. Look at that. Look how good that black pen is. Um, I'm going to put another sentence on there and then you are going to copy the sentence and then draw me a picture to go with it. All right, just like this one. Are you up for that challenge? I think you can do that challenge. And then that will end our speech bit. All right. Like I say, we've got Monday, Tuesday. Won't be able to do anything Wednesday because I'm at school. Thursday. I won't be able to do anything on Friday because I'm at school. That means we've got three days left of SPAG, year two SPAG. And then starting next Monday, I'm not your teacher anymore. Ms. Wright is your teacher, isn't she? So she's going to take over and do all of your stuff while you're on there. <gasps> <gasps> my goodness, it said good job we get to the end of it. I'm a little bit worried about the maths though. We're miles away from finishing that one, aren't we? <laughs> we'll have to work extra hard. And if I let Ms. Wright know that we haven't finished the maths, maybe she could do some stuff with you. I reckon. Anyway, let's get this sentence done. 
There we go. So here's our sentence. Ooh, where can I angle that? There we go. Mr. Stanton cheered. I just can't wait for the summer holidays. How many more weeks? Asked Miss Hoare. So what I want you to do is write down a sentence. So if I angle it like that, look, there you go. You can write it at the top of your page or whatever you're writing on. All right. Then underneath it, I want you to draw a picture of this character and this character talking to each other with these words, okay? I can't wait to see your pictures of your representation of these two characters and what you think they look like. Okay, so here we are again, look. Mr. Stanton cheered. I just can't wait for the summer holidays. How many more weeks? Asked Miss Hall. So I would like a picture of both of those characters with those speech bubbles, please. All right. Okay, see you soon.